It is now in the hands of the FBI. But Fox 6 has obtained parts of the independent investigation into the death of Michael Bell. He was killed by Kenosha police back in 04. Our AJ Bayapur with a story you'll see only here on Fox 6. Hi, AJ. Brad, Tammy, this is an affidavit from a former Kenosha police detective. It includes his theory of what happened that night in November of 2004. He concludes a car parked led to a fatal police shooting. Michael was right here. Michael Bell stands where his son died in the driveway of the family's Kenosha home. I kind of consider this kind of like a holy spot, you know? I mean, this is where your son lost his life, right here at this place. But Bell isn't here to mourn. He's here to demonstrate what he and his private investigators believe happened in the moments leading to the death of Michael E. Bell. I have no problem with the fact that the officer might have made a mistake. That is part of his line of duty. Well, that alleged mistake revolves around the driver's side mirror. Fox 6 obtained an affidavit from retired Kenosha detective Russell Beckman. A Beckman, who spent nearly 30 years with the Kenosha police, states any reasonably competent investigator committed to objectivity and the truth would have been able to determine Officer Strasbaugh's holstered handgun was caught and captured by the driver's side mirror. Bell's team believes the officer thought Bell was going for his gun, but that's when another officer shot him. But to come back and not do a proper investigation and try to blame it on my child when it wasn't his fault, that's where I have a problem with the truthfulness. Beckman appeared with Bell Tuesday at a press conference. He declined to say then if he was told to lie by his supervisors. But in the affidavit, he states, the officers involved, and more than likely, the supervising and investigating police officials chose not to tell the truth. Kenosha police did not return our calls today. On Tuesday, a lieutenant said the department had no comment about Bell's investigation. In 2010, the family w was awarded nearly $2 million in a settlement with the city of Kenosha. Bell says that money funded his private investigation. Tammy? All right, thank you, AJ. FBI is going to make the final call. Fox 6 has obtained documents that a Kenosha man says shed light on why police killed his son. AJ Bayatpour has the story you'll only see on Fox 6. Michael was right here. Michael Bell returns to the scene of his son's death. Eight years after police shot his son, Bell says the FBI now has proof the shooting was not justified. Our evidence on a scale of 0 to 10 is an 11. That's what we brought forward and we said we've given to them. Bell announced Tuesday that his team of private investigators had given their evidence to the feds. I have no problem with the fact that the officer might have made a mistake. That is part of his line of duty. That alleged mistake revolves around this broken driver's side mirror. Fox 6 obtained the affidavit of former Kenosha police detective Russell Beckman. A Beckman who spent nearly 30 years with the Kenosha police states any reasonably competent investigator committed to objectivity and the truth would have been able to determine Officer Strasbaugh's holstered handgun was caught and captured by the driver's side mirror. Bell's team believes the officer thought Bell was going for his gun. That's when another officer shot him. Current Wisconsin statutes allow you to go ahead and investigate yourselves and clear yourselves of any wrongdoing. It's inappropriate. A Beckman spoke Tuesday at the press conference. But I don't think it's appropriate for me to discuss that right here. But declined to say if he was directly ordered to lie about the case. However, he states in the affidavit, the officers involved, and more than likely, the supervising and investigating police officials chose not to tell the truth. Kenosha police did not return our calls today. On Tuesday, a lieutenant said the department had no comment on Bell's investigation. The Bell family was awarded nearly $2 million in a 2010 settlement with the city of Kenosha. Brad, Tammy? All right, thank you.